Alright, so if we start game here. Nothing happens. I'm going on this guy. Boom, explodes. Alright, so I'm going to start off at a fresh island. So two characters. If you don't know how to import these characters, uh, watch my previous video. I covered it recently. Alright, so first, go to your island content folder. Right click and let's create a new folder. Let's call this blueprints. And right click on it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a blueprint class. And then building prop. And just to make something relevant to whatever it is. So you're going to double click on it. And we don't have a static mesh to assign. So what we're going to do a search up skeletal mesh on the top left using the add. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna assign our skeletal mesh, which is the model we just imported. Um you can use either one. If it's not popping if the animation isn't popping up for one, you can just use the other, but uh, I haven't had any problems with that recently. So now you have this. And then as it's not really interactable yet. So what I'm gonna do is exit out of this and let's just create a new material and we're going to name it invis or um, invisible double click on it and then on the bottom left here will be go to blend mode translucent and then on your um graph right click constant This is just to set the opacity to zero, which is um, invisible. I'm going to save that. All right, so here's two different methods you can do this. The first is the advanced way, but you won't have a good hitbox. And this is just for like in general, if it's not like a boss or anything. All you have to do is you can go to static mesh, cube, assign this material to invis. Now this means you'll only get hit in this yellow box right here which would be fine for some players, depending on their situation. But I'm going to show you how to make it to where it has the same hitbox as the model you're doing. So what I'm going to do here is go into my testing content imports and then go into the animation if you want. Well, I find this one's probably the easiest. Uh, you can pause on the first animation. And then up here, click Make Static Mesh. We're going to call this Hitbox. I'm just going to move it back. Oh, I moved it to the wrong thing, but oh well. So Hitbox, as you can see here, no collision at all. This is because our base model didn't have any collision. So what you want to do is you want to click onto it. Um, collision, and then here you can make your collision. Honestly, this is all personal preference how you do it. Um, so this green bo box here is your collision, uh, and then you're just gonna scale it however you want. So everything inside the sphere is gonna be like you can't go inside of it. Um, and then you're just going to edit around with it, just create, if you want, you guys can create more, like a box. I think probably a box would work better. And then, over here on collision presets, if it's like a creature and you don't want things mounting over it, um, you can put character mesh. And I'm going to save this asset. And... Oh, I forgot to mention, you have to put materials both invisible. Then save. Now what you want to do is you want to go into your blueprint. Go into static mesh. You can click this, the very top one. And then search up hitbox. So it's not highlighted, but now you can get hit only in your asset. So now it'll work. Alright, and then all you gotta do is make sure you drag the blueprint in.
and not any other one. And we're just going to launch a session and uh, see if it has collision now. Okay, now that we're in, I'm just going to start my game. So look, these are our two base characters right there. Now you're going to go to your game and now you have collision on it. Now that you have collision, now you can do whatever, but uh, if you wanted to make a boss fight, I'll show you how to make it. So go go back into UEFN. I'm just going to close my Fortnite. And what we're going to do is go to Fortnite, search up prop, manipulate, drag it right next to the model, just get it assigned. And then, if you wanted to have a certain amount of health, go in the bottom right right here. Modify prop health, just to make sure it works. So if you go here, if you actually, if you want to make um, effects, we can make it an effect. So if you go death particles, you can make like a gas explosion. So let's hop into a game and see how it works. Alright, so if we start game here. Nothing happens. Let me go on this guy. Boom, he explodes. Alright guys, tell me what you want in the comments below if you guys, or if you guys have any issues or comments or concerns. Uh, that's usually how I base my ideas for my next video. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.